Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a fun Friday video and we are going to be testing out the Mina Eyebrow Henna. I got the color medium brown and I, you guys know, I told you we were going to do this because I really don't like doing my brows. I would love to get microblading, but it's way too expensive for me. So I'm going to do this. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing how this stuff works, if it works and, um, stay tuned and I'll try and come back in a couple of weeks cause it's supposed to last one to two weeks. So I'll come back and add to the description box after box after it's been a week or so and let you know how well it held up and if it was dark enough and if I had to do it again and all those good things. So if you're interested in seeing how to do it and how it turned out the first time I did it, stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna start by mixing this. This is the, what I have. It's called Mina Eyebrow Henna. And I have the color medium brown. And I did not get the kit, so I didn't get the cleaning stuff and the oil that, because in the kit you get eight colors. And I didn't need eight colors because this kit alone does up to 30 sets of brows. So you get these packets, there's three packets in here. You get a little spoon to measure and stir with. You also get this little bottle so that once you open this, because you use half a spoonful of this little tiny spoon is how much you use for each time you do the brows. So once you open this packet, you put the rest of it in this bottle to save it. Not the, lick, not the part you've already mixed, the rest of the powder goes in here and it has a little label on it too so that if you did get the kit I don't know if you get I'm sure yeah you get one one of these little boxes with everything in it for each kit you also get this little dropper for the water and a little mixing cup that you mix it in so that's everything you get and instructions of course First, I'm gonna mix it. And to mix it, it says to, whoops, I forgot to get my glasses. Okay, I got my glasses. So it says, this is how you mix it. You take this little cup, this little cup, and you put in, take half a spoonful of this, and it's this little spoon, and of the powder, and Put it in the measuring cup and then pour a few drops of water using the dropper mix with the spoon for five to ten minutes so they want it really really mixed okay this is probably going to be easier once it's in that little bottle to scoop out but i'm not going to do that yet so that's how much is in there once you pour it in the bottle and it poured in really nicely I actually expected to make a much bigger mess than that. So now I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to get half a spoonful. Ooh, it doesn't fit as well as I thought. All right. Okay, that's about half a spoonful. Can you see it? That's oh, not going to focus until I cover my face. Come on, you can do it, camera. Anyway, it's half a spoonful. Oops, just spilt some. And I'm gonna put it in this little cup. And then I'm gonna take my dropper. That's what it comes with, this dropper. And it doesn't say how much, but there is a measurement on here that says half a milliliter and one milliliter, but it just said a few drops. So I'm just gonna suck some water in there. Oops, I got a lot. And then I'm going to put a few drops in here. I can't see the bottom, so. All right, I put about five drops in there. 
I don't know if that's, that doesn't seem like enough though. So I put about three more. And then I'm gonna start mixing. And I have to mix it for like five minutes. So let's see. What time it is. We'll go ahead and set a timer. My phone, of course, wants face ID. Oh, there we go. All right. Timer. We'll go for five minutes. Ish. So I'm just going to stir this. I'm going to turn this off and I'll come back. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna mark my brows. This is where I really am not very good at this. So I'm gonna move this mirror up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna go in and I've got this light pencil. I wish I had a skinnier one, but I'm in California, remember? So I'm gonna go like this. And then I'm going to go like this, which, can you even see that mark? All right, we're just going to do it. Hopefully it's good. So here we go. I'm going to take my eye brush and oh I was going to show you the consistency that it ended up after I went for um longer than five minutes I kept going just to make sure because it did say five to ten minutes so I think I can take this down and just use the close-up mirror this time so let me show you the consistency That's what it looks like. It's supposed to be a paste. So, here we go. Hopefully this works fantastically. I'm just gonna get some on my brush and I'm gonna start at the tail because I'd like for it to be darker out this way. Whoops, got a little thick there. See if we can remove some of that before it works. So I am just going to be brushing it. This looks kind of green. Brushing it on. Oh. Trying to get a nice point. And that little bit that it makes is more than enough. I'm trying to kind of go back and forth a little bit to make sure you get underneath all the hairs. Trying to do it a lot lighter on the inner corner of it just because that's kind of how naturally it is. I 
I have a scar right there too. I want to make sure. It always makes my eyebrow look crooked when that scar doesn't take the color that I'm using. That is looking really sloppy out there. I'm going to call this one done. Start on the next one. I think I'm going to switch my mirror to the other side so that I can get lots of light. Can you guys still see? When I do my eyebrows normally, this one's always a lot thinner. Not sure what the deal is with that, but that's just the way it always ends up. So, I'm going to try and make them even. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm really, really, really looking forward to this working really, really, really good. That would be so awesome if I haven't messed it up somehow. But hopefully if I have, I can figure it out and do it again and fix it because it says right on it, if they're not as dark as you want, do it again. Wash it off and do it again. Put more on and leave it on another 15 minutes and it said it said three times and it didn't say no more than three times it just said leave it on longer so i guess it doesn't hurt your skin or anything if you leave it on too long at least it, that's what i got from it They look pretty good, huh? I need to look in the far away mirror and see. I like them. I hope they turn out. Oh, that would be so awesome. You know, anybody who is going to get um, microblading should do this first. It's like a lead in. I'm not going to get microblading anytime soon because, well, because I can't afford it. But that would be ideal. But from what I understand, you have to do it again every six months. And it's like $450, $500 every time. Well, maybe not every time. But I know it's $450, $500 the first time. And... I don't know what it is after that, but I can't afford that. No way. Um, let me make sure I got underneath all these hairs. What I'm doing now is I'm kind of brushing backwards to make sure all the skin underneath has some. Because I really want this to last like two weeks. I'd be willing to do this every two weeks. Because for one thing, I get better at it every time I do it. I'm sure of that. Let's see. Do they look even? They do look pretty even. So, I'll be back in 15 minutes. I think that's what it said. 15 minutes. Let's just look and see. It says 10 to 15 minutes, so I'll be back in 15 minutes. 
Okay guys, I'm back. It's been 15 minutes. We're gonna take it off. I'm just using a cotton pad and I have a little bit of hand soap on it. And I'm just going to wipe it off. See how we did. Seems like it's all coming off. Okay, and then I have another one here that's just water. So I'm just gonna wipe that away. Well, I like it, but it's definitely not you know perfect because Well, I'm just gonna have to still fill in. I don't know if it's because I didn't have enough on, if I didn't leave it on long enough, what? Because it doesn't look very dark on my um, brows. What the heck is that? So, there it is. I'm gonna go put on some makeup and I will come back and show you what it looks like and to see how much filling in I need to do. So, I'll be back again. Okay guys, I am, this is future me <laughs> because I know I told you guys I was gonna come back, I was gonna go put on some makeup and come back. Well, I completely forgot. I actually did film after that. I filmed the beginning, the, the intro to that one, with the but I forgot that I had said I was gonna come back and so I didn't film an ending. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to film an ending and it's been two weeks, I think. I didn't write down the date, but I'm pretty sure it's been two weeks because I've been home from um, California for a week and I did it either Wednesday or Thursday before. So it's been two weeks. So I'm ready to do it again, but you can see it still looks really good even though I've got brow product on that I don't like, but it it's it's a 100% better. Now granted, the part, the henna part that didn't, it didn't stay on my eyes because I, I just washed my face too much. And at first I was trying to go around real careful and stuff, but I was still taking off both the front and the back side of it when I tried to go in the middle and over here. And eventually now I'm, you know, I'm just washing normal, but the hairs stay and that makes it so much easier. I didn't realize that I had so many like white hairs or half white hairs or light hairs. I don't know what they were, but when I do this, it makes them so much darker and it makes it so much easier to fill them in and stuff. So I still say that it's good. I love it. And I give it definitely a thumbs up. Um, even though it doesn't, I wish that the part that goes on your skin would last longer. But if that's all I have to fill in, that makes it so much easier. So it's worth it for me. So I'm getting ready to do it again here. And I was thinking I was going to watch some like real henna not eyebrow henna, but like where they, Mindy, Mindy, something like that. Henna where they put dots and then swirls and all that because they put that stuff on their skin and it lasts like for weeks. So I'm, I'm going to watch a couple of those and see how long they leave it on and stuff like that. So anyways, I'll update the information box and then I'll mention it in a vlog probably um, that I have updated it. So if you watch all my videos, you'll know. If not, you'll just need to check back again, you know, in a week or so, maybe. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!